Welcome back to collecting every block in Minecraft by release order. Today is the 1.8 update, also known as the Bountiful update. This update changed a lot, be it stuff that isn't so much relevant to the challenge, like adding spectator mode and world borders, and stuff that is very relevant to the challenge, like ocean monuments and the many new blocks that come with that, and other changes to world generation. The first of which is red sandstone, with four pieces of red sand. I think I've screwed myself, because I didn't grab enough red sandstone to make all the different sandstone variants. Ooh. Well, that'll have to be something we worry about getting more of later. Luckily, we do know where a mesa is from the last version. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh, my shit's... It's not broken, but... It's different. Why are vines, like, missing texture? I mean, vines are still in the game. I don't know why they'd have a missing texture. The wooden slab makes sense because this is a petrified wooden slab. So it's not its not the same as this wooden slab right here. Because this is an oak wood slab. This is a wooden slab. Oh, and now my mushrooms are actually like appropriate looking for the type of mushroom that they are. Okay, so that's probably that probably means that we can now get the... Um, get the different types of mushroom blocks as well, like mushroom stems, etc. Next up, we'll make an iron trap door and make fences, fence gates, and doors from all the different types of woods that didn't previously have them, that being spruce, dark oak, jungle, birch, and acacia, then a slime block on top of all that. Alright, and then slime block. Very good. That's everything that I can get at home. Everything else that I need now in this update would require me to travel your sneezes sound like farts your farts sound like Hachoo! what i think you're the weird one man this update introduced a feature that probably flew under the radar for a lot of people it wasn't a headline feature but for the purposes of this challenge it is a big big deal Mob heads were introduced in 1.4, but were unobtainable through legitimate means. 1.8 changed that, though. Now, if a charge creeper blows up a skeleton, zombie, or creeper, that mob will drop their head. Meaning that now, we have to get to work trying to somehow get a charged creeper. I didn't really have a plan going into this, because it's not really something that you can plan for. But the best that I can hope to do is get a ton of creepers trapped in a large area, and wait around until a thunderstorm comes through and lightning strikes one or multiple of them. This makes it sound easy, but it is not. Not at all. Trapping creepers safely isn't an easy process in and of itself, and then add the fact that you have to put a name tag on them to keep them from despawning doesn't help either. Needless to say, we'll want to have more than one creeper, so we'll have to repeat this process many times over. Eventually, this should happen. Bolt. Oh. Ah! He's good. Okay, that's not enough to kill a creep or to kill a zombie straight up. So any mob that we need killed by a charged creeper will still need to be at a low HP, adding yet another complication to this process. And remember, if at any stage of this I mess this up, it's gonna waste a lot of time. For now though, let's travel through the nether to return to the mesa biome that we found last time. We'll need more red sand for cut red sandstone, and we'll also need some new terrain to generate a lot of new blocks that we need. The mesa being so far out means that we shouldn't have to go too much further to find some new areas. So I reckon let's get out of this mesa and then let's dig down a little bit to see if we can't find where some of the new blocks are. Something I forgot that also spawns in the mesa is coarse dirt, which was also added in this update. Goofy goober? I'm certainly not a goofy goober. Oh wait, coarse dirt. Is this coarse dirt? I think it is. Yeah, it is coarse dirt. Okay, that's totally new in this update as well. Ooh. All right, I'm thinking like right here's a good spot. We get andesite, diorite, and granite after not too much digging, and we'll turn those into their polished versions later. We'll take this chance as well to do a little mining as I'm short on a lot of resources. We went mining, got andesite, diorite, and granite. And then I think there's polished versions of all of those. Yeah, polished andesite, polished diorite, polished granite. Is there anything else I can do with those? 
Or is that it for right now? I think in the future there will be more uses for those, but I think for right now that might be all I can do. Oh yeah, and then cut red sandstone, which I want to say is like this? Huh? Yeah, okay, that's smooth. Okay, so now we got all the different sandstones as well. Cool. So now let's gear up for taking on an ocean monument. With ocean monuments comes prismarine and the variants of that, plus sponges and sea lanterns. We'll get some armor and water breathing potions to hopefully be able to breeze right through one once we do find one, that is. I'm not seeing any ocean monuments. This is an ocean, right? It's, it's a deep ocean. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, I know that. I know the look of that. I know that shape. Ouch. Oh, right. If you hit them when they're in their thorny phase then they hurt you. I have not fought these guys in so long, man. I haven't fought these guys in fucking forever. Right, they drop Prismarine shards, which I don't really need, but it would be good to be able to get Prismarine. I don't think I need anything else. Is this Silk Touch? No, that's Fortune. I don't know if you need to Silk Touch these, but just to be safe. Just to be safe. All right, and then there's this kind of Prismarine. There's this kind of Prismarine. Ouch, very rude. Prismarine, Prismarine Bricks. How many Elder Guardians are there in these? Is there three, I think? Yeah, three. Okay, so we just need to take care of those and we'll be good. Is this not an entrance? Quit doing that. Oh, hi. There's one, like, literally right here. I cannot mine it, though, because he gave me, uh, mining fatigue. Good Bryn. And we kill one of the three of you... And he drops sponge! Oh, okay. Well, if he drops sponge, then theoretically we could just leave after getting any bit of dark prismarine that we can find. Which, I don't know where there is some. Okay, that, da, 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 da. Hey, big man! Big man! So, just one more of these guys. Okay, but I could leave now because I got two sponges, so I can have, I can have one that's wet and one that's dry. So I could just leave now, but I would rather take care of the last one, so that eventually I could farm this place if I so desire. Oh, he is not going to like this. He oh, big man! Oh, big man, you're not going to like what I'm doing to you. You fucked me, that means I got to fuck you too. Alright, anyway, uh, we're probably good to leave. I would like to stick around until my mining fatigue leaves, because I, like I like to grab more of the sponge. But if that's not possible, then that's also fine. Because I have the bare minimum. I don't mind that it takes a while. Very good. Everyone's full of fucking jokes today. Everyone's a fucking comedian. After returning home, we'll chest the spoils of our ocean monument endeavor, which leaves only mob heads and banners. Being that there's over 809 quadrillion combinations of banner patterns, and my deadline for completing this challenge is before the heat death of the universe, I think I'm gonna settle with just doing all the different base colors of banners, of which there are 16 for all the different colors of wool. Alright, that's every kind of banner. That's everything from Ocean Monuments all taken care of today. I don't even, I didn't think I would make all that progress today, but I'm very happy we did. And also an armor stand, which is technically an entity, but a block in spirit, so we'll count it. So now all that's left is mob heads, probably the block that will take longer than anything that I've gotten so far and probably ever will in this series. The best I can hope to do is pile enough creepers into this field as possible. Initially, I used iron doors to trap them, but I settled on just leaving them in a one by one hole with water inside and then a fence on top to make sure that nothing else falls inside of the hole. Using the name tags that I got from AFK Fishing, I managed to get over 60 creepers trapped. Then, when I wasn't streaming, I left my PC on overnight and streamed myself in spectator mode watching over the field of creepers to capture the moment when the lightning strikes them. I dubbed this field the Power Grid. Every night that went by without a charged creeper led to a whole nother stream where my sole purpose was to just collect more creepers. This went on for days with no luck whatsoever, leading to the first big roadblock with this challenge. A roadblock that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to overcome.
A lightning strike will charge creepers in a 3x3 three three area of the point where it struck. So we got four creepers that are charged, meaning that we can only mess this up one time. If I mess it up more than once, I'm gonna have to wait for more charged creepers. So the stakes are high. Or rather, the mutton is. <laughs> I looked over it before stream, but I will have to look over it again, because I honestly don't remember everything. <laughs> Alright, as planned. Um, come on over. Come on over. I should have made a flint and steel. Um, should have made a flint and steel. <laughs> Take off armor? Take off my armor? Why? Do it. Can you do it through the trap door? Mob head. Let's go. Okay. It didn't. Oh my lord. That is quite a hole. Oh my lord, that is quite a hole. I thought the water would have stopped the damage, but... Oh, that's one down. We are one for one. Make sure to damage him as well before I do this. Give him a one. Give him a two. There we go. Okay, they're dead. Good. Okay, you're gonna come around. Okay, come on, come on, come on, man. Just cooperate with me. Just... I'm not doing this fucking Rango Tangle bullshit with you, okay? Come on, just just follow my directions. Ugh. If you're wondering why I'm not getting all three mobs that I need a head from together and then having them explode, it's because you can only get one mob head per explosion, meaning that I would pick a random mob from the three that exploded to drop their head. Come on out. Come on out. Please be more cooperative than this creeper was in regards to getting into the hole. Nope. Okay. Okay, we have to lead him away a little bit here. Why is he not getting into the dang hole? Use a flint and steel, OMG. Is the flint and steel gonna help me get this charged creeper into the hole? So there we go. What? He walked right over the trap door? How did you do that? I would love to know. I'd love to know how the hell you just managed to do that. All right, come on. I wanna lead you literally through the hole, but please don't fall in, please. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. How is he doing that? How is he doing that? How is he walking straight over? Come on. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Beautiful. Beautiful. I, at the last second there, I had a very, very, very scary revelation of what happens if the wrong creeper explodes first. I had a very scary revelation there. What happens if the wrong creeper explodes first? But luckily, that didn't happen. That's why we were saying flint and steel. But getting a skeleton in there... See, this is the thing. They don't really follow you. They just kind of, like, strafe, weirdly. Like, I don't know how well they actually follow. Skeletons might be the toughest of the three, honestly. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on out. You're free. Free to go. Oh, I didn't hit the... Hang on, hang on. Actually, actually, actually hang on. I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta do a little... Okay, now you're free. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Now you're good. Now you're good. Now you're good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There you go, big boy. There you go, big boy. There you go, big boy. All right, now you're gonna come around here, and now you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna be a little... Never mind, you're not gonna be a fucking turd about it. You're gonna be the greatest boy ever. And that one didn't do any damage. And we're good. Oh, and we're good. Oh, and we're good. Oh my gosh. Three days of AFKing for charged creepers. And we got it. That's the... This has been and probably will be by the time that this series is over
the most time that I had to spend on an update for these three blocks. And that's it! Next up is Minecraft 1.9, the combat update, which features an overhauled end biome, meaning that there's another ender dragon fight, purper, and elytra. But thank you for watching, and join me on Twitch where I stream the live making of these videos. If you don't have Twitch, or you prefer YouTube, then check out my second channel where the full, unedited streams of this series goes. Become a channel member if you want to go the extra mile to support my work, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all for version 1.9.